Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Monday, the 20th day of May. It's and it, Monday. Yeah, it is uh, National Be a Millionaire Day. You're going to be a millionaire, Heidi? I would love to. Yeah, I don't think Are we're Are you gonna... offering? No, I don't. Uh, hmm, no. Uh, how about National Pick Strawberries Day? Oh, I love fresh strawberries. You Man, know how good. many years it's been since mm-hmm. I have been to a strawberry patch? I thought I was a little tiny kid. I have not been to one. So really? You got oh, it's so beat. much fun. National Rescue Dog Day today. Uh, we just saw some rescue dogs last Thursday. I love rescue dogs. They're so darn cool. And National Quiche Lorraine Day. Is love that what you make? I love quiche. Is yours yes. Quiche Lorraine? It is. Nice. It is good. It's also a movie star Monday. And speaking of Lorraine, wasn't that one of the names from Back to the Future? Yes, it was. Who was Lorraine? Was that his mom? His mother. Uh, that was Marty's mom. Well, Marty's girlfriend was Jessica Parker. We have Jessica Parker joining us on the program today. The original. It is Claudia Wells. She was Jessica Parker on Back to the Future. She's our guest today on this Movie Star Monday edition of the John and Heidi Show. If you have a drug problem, don't let it ruin your life. You can be in treatment as soon as tomorrow. And you can start to get clean in as little as seven days. Take the first step to get drugs out of your life at TimeForRehab.com. Your insurance may cover everything. So you really have nothing to lose. TimeForRehab.com. Start your new life. You deserve it. Learn more at TimeForRehab.com. That's TimeForRehab.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Bank of America surveyed folks and they found that the human life expectancy could surpass 100 years thanks to medical breakthroughs. So I'm not exactly sure what that. Who survey. wants that? Honestly, um, I I think that'd be cool. What? Oh, I think it'd be really cool. I think think about this. I've actually talked to people who are over 100 years old, and in their lifetime, like flight was created. Okay. Like there was no flight in when they were little kids, and to see an airplane was very unique and very rare. And then all of a sudden, it became more normal. So I just think but it's they amazing. Have a hard time getting around. They're not. Not everybody. Happy. I just talked agile. to a dude, a World War uh, Two veteran. He's, uh, I think he's a hundred years old, or is he a hundred and one? Uh, super nice guy. He got around just. He got around better than I do. So uh, there again, I'm not in great shape. So <laughs> no, I think that's cool. I've got a link to that st- uh, survey. Is it a survey or a study? Whatever it is, it's in the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. The average household has thousands of dollars in credit card debt. If you find yourself in that position and you're making minimum payments, you could be in debt for a long time. Make sure you have the very best card with the very best rates at bettercreditcards.net. We work with different banks and different credit card companies who put out their best offers to earn your business. See if we can help you get a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net, bettercreditcards.net. That's bettercreditcards.net. And this is Your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. Cops swarmed San Diego on Tuesday, a building there, uh, where a man appeared to have an assault rifle. And turns out it was a bong, but oh. it was shaped like an AR-15. Well, that's not smart. Yeah. By the way, an AR-15 is not an assault rifle. I don't... There are people who think the AR stands for assault rifle. That's not what it stands for. Anyway, people called the police saying, hey, there's a dude with an assault rifle. Uh, this happened at 622 local time in the evening, by the way. Uh, they saw what this an guy. idiot. You're going to go yeah. walking around with something like that? He wasn't walking around. It? He was hanging out a window. So he was hanging out a window. 22-year-old Justin Baxley wow. and uh, a woman, they were inside this room with this gold gun-shaped glass bong. Uh, turns out they were smoking pot. It had a very realistic hand grip similar to an AR-15. Police said he was charged with exhibiting a replica firearm in a threatening manner. So, also, maybe the drugs, too? I don't know. Did you get in trouble for that? <laughs> I don't know. have no idea. I've got a link to it in the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by channelsurfertv.com. I am going to read this story word for word. Keep in mind, this is just me reading what's in the story. I- I'm not saying I agree with all of this, or I'm not saying that I don't, but I'm just reading. Is that, okay. Am I making it very clear? Yes. Sources at NBC say disgraced anchor Brian Williams 
will lead their 2020 election coverage alongside Rachel Maddow. And I've got a link to the story. I think it's interesting that they put right in there, disgraced anchor. Couldn't they well, have just... Really I is. understand, because he got caught oh, in a lie. Lying. and Repeatedly. But why would they put that right in the story? Why wouldn't they just say, Ryan Williams is going to... I don't know. I thought that was really weird. Uh, again, that's not me saying it. It was in the story. And Fox has announced that Empire will end after its upcoming sixth season. So it's not going to be renewed after season six. And uh, people are very upset with just uh, Ju- what's the name? Jussie, Jussie Smollett. Smollett. Uh, they're saying it's that it's all his fault. So Jussie, don't beat yourself up over this. I think <laughs> it's be. I just wanted to, I wanted to squeeze in. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show. If you can't have a drink without it leading to another drink and another drink, maybe it's time to get help. There are programs designed to help take alcohol out of your life for good at TimeForRehab.com. Don't let a drinking problem spill over into other areas of your life. Get help to quit drinking and start living the life you truly deserve at TimeForRehab.com. Your insurance may cover everything. Learn more at TimeForRehab.com. That's TimeForRehab.com. Now, your scoop of the day, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.net. Switzerland has opened their first bedroom cinema theater in an effort to compete with Netflix. So here's what it is. You go to a theater, but instead of sitting in a movie theater chair, you get to lay on a bed to recreate the feeling of watching Netflix at home. I love what? these theaters. Are you serious? I, I was do. thinking this was the dumbest thing I've ever heard oh, of. Oh, no. Have you seen these things? Uh, They're amazing. <clears throat> it's not like your bed at home. This thing is like a... Uh, just a two-person chaise, really, more than anything, but they're kind of rounded. I fall asleep at the theater sitting in a chair. They're amazing. I also fall asleep at concerts where it's really loud. I might have a problem, but I cannot Talk even imagine. Talk about making things easier for a guy on a first date. Oh, uh, yeah, but can you imagine what happens if things go well? No, you probably I mean, get arrested. No, you wouldn't be able to do that there, uh, but you would certainly uh, get to snuggle and get her all, you uh, know, and then you'd have an opportunity afterwards. Yeah, I don't know. I've got a link I'm to the I'm pretty story. sure they watch those beds pretty close during <laughs> the movie. Yeah, they, up and down the aisles every two seconds. Spray these things off between <laughs> movies. It's a bad idea. Apple stock has fallen by 6% in the last week uh, because of a fear of a trade war. So Apple stock is going down because a lot of their stuff is made in China. Uh, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos says he believes that a trillion people will soon live in space. Okay. So probably not, not anytime me. soon, soon, but someday a trillion people will live in space. Twitter has announced that the company accidentally, oh, air quotes here, accidentally, uh-huh. did, I, did I say that enough? Yeah. They accidentally shared their users' personal data with an advertising oh, partner. Oh, yeah. That's accidentally. a shame. And then they accidentally cashed that check. And then they yeah. accidentally threw one heck of a party. Accidentally, of course. Uh, that was Twitter, for those of you who are wondering who to be mad at right now. A survey by Clean Slate Laser found that face tattoo removal is one of the fastest rising forms of cosmetic surgery. Here's one of the things I've always wondered. I'll see people with a tattoo on their face. Mm-hmm. Um, wouldn't that be really painful? Because wouldn't that be? I don't be a... think it would be any more painful than anywhere oh, else. Oh, I think but it would. What a stupid idea! Yeah, it's a bad idea because that's one of those things where you, you know, should. I mean, seriously, before you go in for something like that, you that should through. have to pass an IQ test, no. and a drug test, no, and an alcohol saying, test. Because I'm not you're clearly that. not in your right mind when you say, "Hey." Why don't you tattoo this thing right across my forehead? Well, but you know, there are people who want to do that. And I guess the good news is they've got the right to do that. Well, yeah, but then they turn around and complain when they can't get hired anymore. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's big deal right now. One of the biggest yeah. forms of cosmetic surgery is facial tattoo removal. Fastest rising form of com- cosmetic surgery. So there's a lot of folks that change their mind, apparently. Study from Concordia University found that anger is more harmful to your health than sadness. So next time you get sad, maybe you should get angry instead. No, wait. Next time you get angry, you should get sad. I don't know. Here's an idea. Try to just be happy. Yeah. Just cheer up. A California elementary school gym teacher was arrested for a DUI on his way home from school. Oh, (laughs) yikes. That's, That's not good. That means he was probably drunk at school. Unless, of course, he drank all of that when he left school. But I don't know. Vladimir Putin. It's our final story. He was uh, taking a victory lap at an ice hockey match in Russia. He had scored eight goals during the game, 
And during the victory lap, he fell right on his face on the ice. And thousands of people laughed at him. Oh, no. That's a bad idea. (laughs) But he, he scored eight goals during the game. I have watched hockey and... That's a lot of goals. I would have laughed too. I'm, I'm usually when you watch hockey, like the, the score is usually like three to two. He oh, got I eight no on idea. his own. Do you think that's because he the goalie probably let him win? That's what I'm like, if you're the goalie, that's if you're Vladimir Putin's Putin. in it, you're Putin. like, uh, I better let that. Through. <laughs> oh shoot! It's I coming right it towards again. you, and you like smack it in for him. You're like, good job there, Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are a good hockey player. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Before you know it, Christmas will be here. Are you ready? If you plan to use a credit card while shopping, make sure you have the very best credit card for you. It's free to click around and see what we can do for you at bettercreditcards.net. We have options from many different banks and different credit card companies who put out their best offers to earn your business. See if we can help you get a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net. Bettercreditcards.net. That's bettercreditcards.net. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show. It is a movie star Monday, and my beautiful bride and I, uh, we had a chance to go to 80s in the Desert. It was a lot of fun, wasn't it? It was so much fun. And we saw a time machine from Back to the Future, and then we also had a chance to visit with Claudia Wells. She is our guest today for Movie Star Monday. Now, we're not talking to her live here on the program, because we actually talked to her live at 80s in the Desert, so you're going to hear a little bit of noise in the background. That's what that's all about. Super nice lady. And uh, Claudia Wells was in the very first Back to the Future. She played Jennifer Parker. She was not in Back to the Future 2 and 3 because her mother was ill and she was taking care of her mother. So I she was. That's so great. But what an awesome lady. And, and uh, she was just so fun to talk to. And her table was right next to a DeLorean time machine. Yeah, and the flux capacitor is working just fine. I already saw my dad when he was in high school. Nice. Yeah, it was good. It was good. I saw Jesus <laughs> That's when very he cool. was born. That is really yeah, cool. Yeah, it was fun. And then in the meantime, I'm sitting next to him in my table. That is really, really cool. Now, you probably get to see this time machine and others like it quite often, don't you? Yeah, I do. I probably signed... I don't know, hundreds over the years. That's really, really neat. Now, when you took that role and you had a chance to be Jennifer for the best Back to the Future ever, the original, did you have any idea at all what this was going to be like for the rest of your life? I had no idea whatsoever. And the thing is, I appreciate and I'm grateful for every like, every kiss, every hug, every kindness, wherever I go, anywhere in the world, or even if I'm just home in Los Angeles, I feel the love of the Back to the Future community. And um, there's nobody like them ever in, in the world. And even the way they, they commune with each other, it's like a family that you can't quite describe to, let's say, a Star Trekkie. Yeah. Right? Exactly. But, um, and, and it is. It's like a big family. And that's, that's how I feel. I feel like I'm in the center of a great big family all over the world. So, now, the uh, you were in the first one. You weren't able to be in the second and third one. And I understand right. it was due to some health issues with your mother. It, but, right. I, but I certainly understand why you, you chose that. Uh, that. That was the right thing to do. You know, had I not done my life the way I had, I wouldn't have opened my men's store, Armani Wells, in Studio City, which I've had now over 28 years. And it's really cool from what it's I've been told. It's really cool. I'm now on eBay, Armani Wells, L.A., and so because of my store and it gives me a business sense and it has other, you know, jobs come to me directly, I, I love that. It's like I'm the uh, the actual person instead of like 10 people away from me to the public. Yeah. And because of Back to the Future, I get to travel the whole world. Yeah. I get to speak and do appearances and headlining and hosting. And I write a lot of poetry, so I'm about to start doing that publicly as well. Will there be a poetry book maybe in your future? There should be. I've got over 300 poems in my phone, and that's just the last two years. So That is awesome. Yeah, there should be. So sure. anything you can share right now, we're not quite ready for that? Well, it's not that I'm not ready. It's just that I've got a thousand on my phone. And, <laughs> but I'm thinking I might blog or... That'd be awesome. I'm not quite sure what, but... Um, it's my heart, so that's really cool, and yeah. and and I think it's important to have that creative outlet. So I'm I'm glad that you're finding that. It's really thank neat. Thank you, thank you. People can find me on ClaudiaWells.com, ArmaniWells.com, and then on all the media sites, I'm at the Claudia Wells, and for my store, I'm Armani Wells LA on eBay, 
our money wells, our money wells, and our money underscored wells on Instagram. Well, we'll so I'm, I'm pretty accessible. We'll throw a link to that. And if people are maybe in L.A. and they want to stop by, they can actually pop in and say hello. Our money wells. That's it. I'm there Tuesday through Saturday, noon to 6. I'm open by appointment other hours and closed when I'm traveling. But, um, yeah, I'm there or the store is closed. That's really, really cool. Thank you for taking the time to visit. Thank you. Do you have a lot of people call you Jennifer? Yes. <laughs> and my sister's name is Jennifer. Is it really? And I went to 150 Parker Elementary School. That is so you got I'm a Jennifer. I'm sorry, nursery school. You got a Jennifer and a Parker in your past. Ridiculous. That's really cool. It's I like know. like they went back in time to get those uh, names. Right? It was meant to be. <laughs> it was my density. Your density. Your destiny. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. God Again, bless you. Claudia Wells. We're going to throw a link to all of her information for her social media, for her store, all of that in the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. Yay! If you have a drug problem, don't let it ruin your life. You can be in treatment as soon as tomorrow, and you can start to get clean in as little as seven days. Take the first step to get drugs out of your life at TimeForRehab.com. Your insurance may cover everything, so you really have nothing to lose. TimeForRehab.com. Start your new life. You deserve it. Learn more at TimeForRehab.com. That's TimeForRehab.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Botox affects your emotions. Okay. Says uh, it can reduce wrinkles. By paralyzing parts of your face, but also changes are not just cosmetic. They've been found to make it harder for people who are using Botox to identify emotions as deeply as those who don't. One study found that Botoxed women were less able to identify the emotions felt by those in photographs that uh, of people who did not use Botox. So, really? Yeah. It, so it you has, can't even recognize emotions yeah. anymore? That's Apparently, bizarre. Maybe they're doing too much Botox and their eyelids don't work. I have no idea. I have no clue. Huh. I've never done that. I, I have seen uh, people who've done it too much. But oh, if, yeah. If you've done it just right, I don't know. Maybe you can't tell. But uh, there you go. I've got that as a fun fact on the John and Heidi Show. The average household has thousands of dollars in credit card debt. If you find yourself in that position and you're making minimum payments, you could be in debt for a long time. Make sure you have the very best card with the very best rates at bettercreditcards.net. We work with different banks and different credit card companies who put out their best offers to earn your business. See if we can help you get a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net, bettercreditcards.net. That's bettercreditcards.net. Now, fear this. Time for fun with phobias. Ophthalmophobia. Ophthalmophobia. Fear of eye doctors. No, but it's close. It's a fear of being stared at. Oh, okay. What do you think right now? I'm staring at you, Heidi. You always stare at me, John. Yes, I do. <laughs> She's my wife. I do like to stare at you. <laughs> um, and, and here's something I really do enjoy doing once in a while. is like when we're watching a movie or we're doing something where we're not really paying attention to each other. To just watch you, especially if it's a funny movie. I love watching you just like the when you laugh. I don't know. There's just something cool about that. <laughs> We've been married almost 20 it's years. so bizarre. No, I just think it's cool. I love to see you happy. So, And, and my jokes don't work. So, uh, <laughs> so. <clears throat> Maybe the professionals can help. All right. Ophthalmophobia. Something like that. Fun of uh, fear of being stared at. That's today's fun with phobias. If you can't have a drink without it leading to another drink... And another drink. Maybe it's time to get help. There are programs designed to help take alcohol out of your life for good at TimeForRehab.com. Don't let a drinking problem spill over into other areas of your life. Get help to quit drinking and start living the life you truly deserve at TimeForRehab.com. Your insurance may cover everything. Learn more at TimeForRehab.com. That's TimeForRehab.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. An Ohio man was arrested after allegedly stealing a steak by placing it in his pants and then walking out of a supermarket. <laughs> Didn't we just have a rib roast like a week ago? Yeah, there ago? was like a giant... Yeah, 40-pound rib roast. Yeah. Well, this dude he decided uh, he was just... Just one gonna... steak. Yeah. Was it at least wrapped um, up? I'm just reading here to I see. would sure hope he didn't... A package of steak shoved in okay. his pants carrying a package of beef jerky in his hand that he also didn't pay for. The 23-year-old refused to comply with an officer's request to stop, 
While the officer was arresting Nelson Allen in the parking lot of a nearby complex, the steak package fell from his pants. So he got caught because of the beef caught jerky that he was just holding. Jerky. <laughs> According to the news here, it says uh, he was shoplifting from the supermarket the day prior to the meat incident, and he was arrested and charged with theft twice now, it sounds like. So he's got a problem. So the second time, he basically came in, grabbed some beef jerky, and a steak, stuffed the steak in his pants, walked out with the beef jerky, yeah, like, hey, make a whole lot look of what sense. I'm doing. Yeah. Try to catch me. I don't know. Bad idea. That's why it's today's Weird News. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh. A couple of weeks ago, this made the rounds on the internet. Uh, this is really not a smart thing. Uh, somebody misspelled the word school on the school oh, crosswalk. Oh, I saw this. Yeah, this was shared with me like 15 times. Yeah, and I, I people saw kept, And I think this. it's cool that people share it, by the way. Uh, and it's not that I didn't want to read it back then. I just, I, I have a ton of stories. And this one was one that I was going to get to, and I finally did, because I had a guy send it to me again. He's like, I thought for sure you'd read this. So I'm doing it today. I, I apologize. Here it is. It is a great story. Uh, It's something that you would hope would be spelled correctly. The word school right outside of a school (laughs) in a crosswalk that says school. So instead of S-C-H-O-O-L, it says S-C-O-H-O-L. They kind of got all the right letters, but just jumbled up. So I don't know exactly what happened. Somebody got in a lot of trouble for that. This photo made it on Twitter. It's gone viral. It's all over the place says uh, it looks like this snafu won't stick around. The city is going to be scraping it all up and starting all over. Yeah, so, of course they will. Uh, says here that, uh, again, it's it's gone viral. It's all over. I, I, everybody's probably seen this already, but it was certainly worth reading again. Thank you so much for sending it. Thanks for listening as well to The John and Heidi Show. Before you know it, Christmas will be here. Are you ready? If you plan to use a credit card while shopping, make sure you have the very best credit card for you. It's free to click around and see what we can do for you at bettercreditcards.net. We have options from many different banks and different credit card companies who put out their best offers to earn your business. See if we can help you get a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net. Bettercreditcards.net. That's bettercreditcards.net. Now, these three things, Heidi, tell me, what do these three things have in common? Uh, These are things where you need to put this word behind them. So it's this word, uh, blank, whatever, here we go. Cup, blank, short, blank, birthday, blank. What's the blank? Cup, short, birthday. Oh, once you know it, you're going to go, oh, what? Cake. Yes, cupcake, short cake, birthday cake. What is short cake? Shortcake. Oh, like strawberry a... shortcake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Why not pan? Pancake. <laughs> I don't know. I could think of... I like cake. I don't think there's any cake I don't like. I like all kinds of cake. Yeah. I'm Pancakes. a huge fan of German chocolate cake. Eh, I'll take hers. Thanks for listening <laughs> to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. This portion of The John and Heidi Show is brought to you by The John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying The John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always try to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of RipItGloves.com, promo code radio. That's R-I-P-I-T gloves.com. And this is a cool story. Chick-fil-A manager goes above and beyond for a World War II veteran. Take a listen to this story. A manager at a Chick-fil-A in Maryland was quick to help when he saw a regular customer needed more than his usual meal. Mr. Lee, a 96-year-old World War II veteran, came to the register and said he had a flat tire. That's when a store manager, Daryl Howard, jumped into action. He said he was shaking, almost in tears. He barely made it to the store on three tires because one was bad. It took Howard about 15 minutes to change the tire. He didn't know that this gentleman had taken a photo of the the incident as well. That wasn't the uh, the the person who actually had the flat tire. A person by the name of Rudy Somaza. 
was just a bystander who saw what was going on and said, you know what, this is pretty cool. Uh, it said his kind actions, or his actions of kindness was beautiful. Daryl has always been so helpful to anyone in need and deserves this recognition. So he snapped the photo, he posted it online, and this darn thing has gone viral. So if you've not had a chance to see it, I have a link to this in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.